This movie shows enhancements to DDM Web introduced in DDM 2010.2. DDM Web provides organizations with read-only internal or external access to items in DDM through a web interface. In DDM 2010.2, the web user interface has been updated to match the new themes introduced in the DDM Office user interface. Here the user is searching for parts beginning with ZH-10. We can also run a search based on folders. Here we're searching for items in the PX1008 project folder. If we browse through the folder contents, we can find the top level assembly drawing. If we select this drawing, we see a new Actions panel has been introduced. We can use this here to open the drawing PDF. If we return to the folder and select the top level assembly, we will take a look at some Bill of Material enhancements within DDM Web. Users have previously been able to view the Bill of Materials in a standard format. In DDM 2010.2, the Bill of Materials can be customized to show specific attributes, part, assembly, and Bill of Materials attributes. In this case, the custom defined Bill of Materials attribute Remarks has been added to the Bill of Materials listing. In addition, the Bill of Materials can now be printed or exported as a CSV file using the new Actions panel. When viewing folder contents through DDM Web, a new option is available to download the folder contents. The user can select either the entire folder or selected items from the folder to download as a zip file. In this case, the user has chosen to download the entire folder contents. The download is completed by selecting Download from the Actions panel. This feature can be useful to replace the use of FTP sites for file transfer. The key benefit is that users are downloading the latest live files without the need to duplicate and copy files from DDM to an FTP site. The ability to subscribe to items has been available through the DDM Office user interface, but not through DDM Web. In the new release, DDM Web users can now subscribe to items to be notified of any changes made to that item. In this case, we select a component drawing from the project folder. We now choose to subscribe to receive email notification if the drawing is up issued. Note that we also choose to automatically subscribe to the same notification on any new issues that are created. We are now notified by email of any new issues of the drawing. Note that in DDM 2010.2 the email content has been enhanced to provide more information to the recipient. The email format has also been optimised for viewing on mobile devices. New radio buttons are added as search criteria to help users quickly find any items that they are currently subscribed to.